This week on Neighborhood Treasures, we're gonna take a visit to Del Mar where we're gonna make something at Maid. Some cool things happening here in Maid. Vince, I made it. How you awesome. doing, man? Very good, nice to meet you. Heard so much about this place. You wanna show me around? I would love to. Okay, after you. We've got all different kinds of workspaces here. Right on the right here, we've got silk screening, heat press. What is made and how did you get here? Made is a maker space. And basically what that means is that we have a lot of different workstations that people share. Here we have 3D printing and we have all kinds of creative resources that we give access and education to. It's everything from woodworking, textiles, laser cutting, water jet cutting, machine shop, metal shop, you name it. We've got all kinds of resources for making real physical things. Made itself doesn't make a product. Our product is our members and their successes. I think that's what makes MADE unique. We have all these resources that become kind of unobtainable for the general person. And you can walk in and either have just a seeking interest into what that machine or, or that craft is all about, or you could want to dig in deeper and start making things on your own. It's just exciting to see that spark of of creativity in someone and the energy that they have when they, they're successful in making something. We just feed off that energy and it's really great to have a big diverse community of makers. Well, after this incredible tour that you've given us here today, Vince, now I'm ready to get the business All right. and try to work on something. That what do we good. got? Uh, we're gonna, one of the projects we're gonna work on today is this uh, step stool. Okay. It's a good introductory project for, uh, we teach it in our basics one-on-one -on -one CNC router class. And we take a sheet good, sheet of plywood, and we use a big machine, CNC router, which, and it transforms into a nice step stool project just like this. Take me to your big machine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cool. Vince, if you can just give me kind of a, a sketch of how all of this came together. I had quite a few years working within different shops just as to get my uh, some bearings as to how to run a place like this. And then uh, there was a really amazing opportunity in St. Louis where a previous business similar to this, they had gone uh, under and there was a local uh, funder that was really interested in keeping a resource just like this in St. Louis and I was tapped uh, to take th that vision to the next step. We took about a year to develop this building. It took a lot of hard work and uh, just getting down and dirty and our hands dirty to get this place operational but we've been here almost five years and we've got a growing community of over 250 members. Mm. I think community is a huge aspect that we thought about when we brought MADE here on Del Mar. We were lucky enough to start our business right at the budding beginnings of a new district here on Del Mar called the Del Mar Maker District. It's where they're trying to cultivate a lot of like-minded businesses that bring resources of creativity and how to make things into the hands of the community. There's Craft Alliance, which is just half a block down the street, and Third Degree, one of our sister companies, half a block down the other direction. And the Magic House has a satellite location here too on our second floor. Uh, we have new restaurants and businesses opening all the time. And so to be a part of something that is regenerating a section of Del Mar that a lot of people typically just kind of pass by previously is pretty special. Every third Friday of the month, we have an open house with all the like-minded businesses here in the district. They can come and see live demonstrations of equipment, talk with people from our community, and even some of those people from the community are, are either selling crafts and goods or just explaining about how they came to understand what MADE is all about and how they got that started.
Where does the passion come from? I think it started back when I was pretty young and was curious about how things are made, whether it be going to craft fairs or even my grandpa is a farmer, my other grandpa was a mechanic. So I was just really curious as to where things came from and how things went together. Fast forward a few years, when I was getting out of college, I had an industrial design degree and that's kind of revolved around product design. And I was going around local craft shows and craft fairs and I saw one particular maker really gravitated towards me and he was a, a woodworker and I, that's where I just I started asking questions about like how did you get started and how did you acquire the resources that you needed and uh, the struggle that he had to go through in order to find the right place for him kind of set a light bulb off for me as to like how can we get more of those resources quicker into the hands of, of people who want to make things? How does your heart feel when you see people putting things together for the first time like you see? Anytime we have a new member, it doesn't matter whether they're a seasoned vet in making or it's just the first project that they're working on. You can see the excitement that they have when they're putting the final touches together. Something special about that moment. <laughs> they're super proud of themselves. We're proud of them and it just makes the whole point of this job uh, worth it for sure. Got that and then our final top here goes right. on top. And as you can see with these holes here, that's where you can easily place in a few screws or some dowel, wooden dowel rods to tie that all together. I'd say they're identical twins. Yeah. <laughs> That's the beauty of making things at Maine. You can make them again and again, and they'll come out just like the last time. Vince, this was awesome. We want to thank you for bringing us in here and showing us how it's done. Absolutely. All right, appreciate that. Yeah. All right.